what's up guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you all having a great day. Today we're doing something freaking awesome. Yannette and I, over here, Woo! we're going to the Knicks game. We are going to the game. So basically what's going on, I have this buddy who works at the NBA, he's in the PR department, and he's hooking Yannette and I up with like really good seats. I'm not sure if they're on the court at courtside, but I know they're in the section where if you're watching the game on ESPN, we're watching the Knicks versus Clippers. Basically the game's gonna be on ESPN, I believe, and they're gonna like do these interviews with us. We're gonna be on ESPN, I think. Um, we're getting like the whole great treatment. We're gonna meet the players before the game. I'm really excited about this. I hope I can meet Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, maybe Melo, Derek Rose, or Porzingis. I don't know. If you guys are fans of basketball though, this gonna be really sick if you're not fans of basketball this is also really cool i'm a pretty big fan of basketball uh she's not really do you like basketball yes i love it she loves basketball you ever been to a game madison square garden this is my first uh play game first time it's gonna be so crazy i remember my first game uh it's a lot of fun madison square garden is always a great time we're gonna catch the train uh we're gonna head over there i'm gonna introduce you guys to my buddy julio and uh <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> julio <laughs> It's an inside joke. I'll explain it on the train ride over to the game. But uh, yeah, let's get started. It's a beautiful day in Long Island, New York. It's like 63 degrees. It's going to be snowing tomorrow. We're going to get like two feet of snow. Long Island weather for you. My baby, this song is for you today. Oh, oh okay. Love me. Love me. All right, we made it to the train station, Yannette. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go! I'm actually low key really excited for this, guys. I, I hope this video turns out like a lot of fun because I, I don't know if you guys are gonna enjoy like watching me watch a basketball game. I'm gonna try to make this as entertaining as I possibly can, though. So we just boarded the train. We got here at a perfect time. She's cold. It's 55 degrees. It's gonna snow tonight. But I think now's a perfect time to tell you guys the Julio story. Say one thing for me. Julio. So I got a buddy uh, who works in the NBA that I met through my uncle. His name's Julio. And whenever he answers his phone, he goes, "This Julio. Julio." What I like to do when I talk to Yannette is I try to explain things to her in a simple way, and I try to say things so that she can remember things. Because I can't just say, "Oh, I have this guy named Julio who's gonna help us out and hook us up with tickets for the game." When I try to tell her who I'm talking to, I just try to give her references. So whenever I'm speaking about Julio, I'll say, "This Julio. Julio," and then she instantly understands who I'm talking about. That's the Julio story. Nothing special there. <laughs> All right, so this is my man Julio right here, and Julio hooked us up. Julio got us these courtside tickets, and we're gonna meet the players. Like my, you see this? My hand is like shaking right now. This is crazy. So we just got cleared to go out to the court. I'm with Yannette and Julio. We're gonna go on the court right now. We have an inside joke about you, Julio. You'll see it on my vlog tomorrow. Is it a good joke? It's a good joke, yeah, it's nothing serious. So we're gonna walk straight down here, go onto the court, uh, hopefully meet some of the players, take some pictures with them, show you guys the seats, and we also got food hooked up for us too, which is so cool. So again, I wanna give a huge shout out to you, Julio. You Welcome. Sure that, bro. Welcome, thank you. We out here, boys. We're out here on the court right now. And Kristaps is right there. And D-Rose is right there. This is so cool, dude. And the Clippers are down over there. All right, so we're sitting on the Knicks bench right now. I'm used to that with Call of Duty, getting getting benched all the time. Now I'm just upgraded <laughs> to the NBA bench now. <laughs> Hundred thousand likes, and I shoot the ball right now. I think the Harlem Globetrotters I like you, man. There's some fans over here. We're gonna say hi real quick. Yo! Yo! Yo, next to Clippers, next to Clippers, real quick. So we also have VIP access to the buffet. Any type of food, ice cream, drinks, whatever you name it, it's all here in the buffet. We got this wristband and everything is free throughout the entire game. This place is like a dream. Everything in here is free. I just had steak at a Knicks game. Like steak. So it's 
uh, first quarter with six minutes left. It's already 19 to 19. They've been scoring like crazy. Make the free throw. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Defense! 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 It's 118-115, uh, game's on the line. DeAndre Jordan's gonna shoot free throws. And that's, that's the game, game over. 119-115. All right, guys, I'm signing off on this vlog. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please leave a like on the video. Not do it for me. Do it for the NBA. Do it for my boy Julio for hooking up Yannette and I with the VIP treatment from getting off the train, just walking straight into the stadium, not having to go through any lines at all, going straight through to the VIP club where there was free food, there was steak, there was there was popcorn, there was there was like ice cream, there was everything that you could ever want. It was all for free, and then meeting all the players was so much fun. Uh, it was a great day, an awesome opportunity. I don't take it for granted. It's all thanks to you guys. It would not be possible if you guys weren't supporting me every single day. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great day. It's been a boy, Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.